Hang on viewers. So welcome back guys and in today's video we're going to bring you an array of 14 inch cordless chainsaws and see which one might be most suited to your needs. Tested by Machinery Nation. So up today we've got chainsaws from Makita, Karcher, the new still MSA 220C. This is the first time hopefully anyone's ever seen it. It's a new facelift model, got more power, different cutting features. We got then a product from Greenworks, Steger, and Ego. Right, let's check out the specifications first. The Ego CS1400E runs a 3.8 1.1mm chain, has a 56 volt system, has a brushless motor, a 13.5 meter per second chain speed, which is the slowest in the range, and is running a 2.5 amp hour battery. But it also is the quietest, coming in at 99 decibels, and has a recommended retail price of £329 as a kit. The Steger CS700E, again, is running a 3.8 1.3mm chain, is on a 48 volt system, has a brush brushless motor, 20 meters per second chain speed, and runs a 5 amp hour battery. Has a decibel rating of 113, which is the loudest one in the range, and has a recommended retail price of £519 as a kit. The Greenworks GD24X2 CS36, that's a catchy name, runs a 3.8 1.3mm chain and is on a 48 volt system, so that's running two of their 4 amp hour batteries. Comes with a brushless motor and this has a chain speed of 20 meters per second. It's the most cost effective chainsaw we have in the range, only costing 299 pounds as a kit. The brand new still MSA 220C has got a chain spec of 3.8 by 1.1 millimeters. It's a 36 volt system running the one battery, it's a brushless motor, and it has the fastest chain speed of the range of 24 meters per second. It's running the AP300S battery, which is a 7.2 amp hour, has a decibel rating of 100, and it retails at 777 pounds, including the VAT as a kit. The Karcher CS400 is running a 3.8 chain, which is 1.3 millimeters. It's a 36 volt system taking the one battery, the motor's brushless, and it's a 23 meter per second chain speed. It's running a 7.5 amp hour battery, the decibel rating is 105, and it has a recommended retail price of 579, including the VAT, as a kit. We have got the Makita DUC355. It's running a 3.8 Pico chain, which is 1.1 millimeters. The voltage on this saw is a 36 volt, but it's running two 18 volt batteries. It's got a brushless motor, and the chain speed is 20 meters per second. Remember, these batteries are two 18 volt batteries, which are five amp hours a piece. The decibel rating is 102, with an RRP of 496 as a kit. So on to the first test, we're going to check out the weights. Now obviously these are going to be slightly bigger saws than the ones James used, so obviously they're going to be probably a little bit heavier. Now, we're going to fill them up with chainsaw oil, so it's going to give us a usable weight. And luckily enough for us, we are sponsored by Oregon, so we're going to use their chain oil today, fill up all the oil tanks and test the tree weights. <laughs> We are filled up. Right, so let's check out the weights. So first up, we've got the Ego chainsaw fitted with the 2.5 amp hour battery, and that weighs in at 5.4 kilos. Next up, we've got the Steger, and this is running the 5 amp hour battery. That's 5.7 kilos, so a little bit heavier. Next up, we've got the Greenworks, and that's two 24 volt batteries, so it's a 48 volt system, and that's 5. 0.5 kilos. Next up, the brand new MSA 220C. That's running the AP300S battery, which is a 7.2 amp hour battery. It won't fit that way, so we're gonna have to hang it on the handle. And that is 5.7 kilos. Next up, we got the Karcher, and that's a seven and a half kilo bat seven and a half kilo battery, I wish. A 7.5 amp hour battery. Again, I have to hang this on the handle because it's quite a big back rear end. Oh, oh, that doesn't look safe, Will, does it? Hang on, hang on here a second. Hang on, viewers, sorry. Right, let's hang it there. Uh, 7.1 kilos. That's a heavy old saw, that, isn't it? Uh, next up, and last but not least, we've got the Makita. So that's a two 18-volt system, which is 36 volts, and that is 5.3 kilos. So, I think the Makita came out lightest then, didn't it? Got the nod, got the nod from Will. Right, so, next test. So next up is the speed cutting test. We got three lots of wood. We got softwood, piney stuff, which is more like form wood. We got smaller logs and a larger log, more like 12 inches. We got six saws, that means that's 18 lots of cutting, 18 times. We're gonna do two cuts on each version of wood and see which one's the fastest.
Second test cut into softwood pine. So last test cut is test cut three, that's cut in six inch timber, so more like your logging stuff. Right, get on. So it's safe to say that is pretty impressive. So let's check out the results. So next we're gonna run through some of the key features of each saw, see why they all differ, and also why there might be advantages and disadvantages to some of the others as well. Um, so let's crack to it, let's start the Makita. I say this is an 18 volt battery system, but because they run together, they run as a 36 volt system. So safety first, we'll take the batteries out. Standard thing with all obviously cordless chainsaws, you've still got a normal chain brake. They're normally like an, a mechanical or um, automatic chain brake, so as soon as it comes on, the motor cuts out and the chain stops immediately. So that's a little bit more safer than a normal petrol saw as such. Right, first of all, we'll take off the clutch cover. So with this one here, you've actually got the twin nut and chain tensioning on this one is on the side. So nice and simple. You can see that it's just dipping down. There we go. Oh, that's good. They're captive nuts on there, so you should never jump off. So you're never going to lose your nuts. Always good. So nice and simple. Oil gallery, so just keep that nice and clean. Again, like James mentioned in the last video, just brush it out with a brush. Your sprocket, just remember when you're putting it all back on. One thing I do like with side chain tensioning saws is you can actually get your chain on without any interference with a like a pin, an adjusting pin. With this one here, you just put your clutch cover back on like so. There we go. We'll just do those nuts up so they're finger tight. And then we'll adjust the chain up. One thing I did find with this Makita, obviously it's the lightest one in the range, so it is really nice to use, is being twin batteries. It means you can have several batteries from your power tools, and that's one thing Makita do do very well is their power tool range. With a lot of the other brands, obviously their batteries you can use in a lot of other products but Makita have got a very fast range. So you've got your, your drills, your, you know, your sanders, your planers, all your woodworking tools, automotive tools. They have got a, a range of garden tools as well. So you've got your brush cutters and strimmers and everything as well. So right, let's just slip those batteries in. I'll just show you how it all works. They're side by side like so. You've got an on off button there. So you've got a green light, you know it's now live. With all um, battery tools, obviously you've got a lot of safety features built in. So your chain brakes on, so that means physically the saw's not gonna be able to run. So it's now flashing to tell you there's something wrong. So if I just take the chain brake off, like so, and actually run it, 
There you go, and it's now running. The other thing you will find with this one as well, let's just turn that back on, is down here, you've actually got battery charge indicator. So it actually tells you the indication of the batteries and how much charge you've got in each. So there you go, that's another handy feature there. Last thing, but not least, is the oil cap is just a standard screw cap. So no sort of quick flick and quarter of a turn, but to be honest, some people like that sort of system. So that's the Makita, nice and streamlined, nice and lightweight, good little product. Next up, the Karcher. So probably the biggest and definitely the heaviest in the range. So we're running 14 inch chain bars and chains. This one here, quite a long unit, but from what we've seen already in the other videos we've done with Karcher, their system is quite vast. And a lot of people don't realize they do a lot of battery products. So you do your pressure washers, mowers, strimmers, blowers, and the full range. The other thing with these ones is the battery technology. It tells you clearly there how much charge you got. And actually when you put it in each tool, it will tell you how much charge, how much runtime you got per that tool. Because each tool is draws more power. So you've got blowers, they're very power hungry. Chainsaws and strimmers a little bit less and the same with mowers. So that's a really, really good feature from Karcher. And one thing I did notice with the batteries, they're like rubberized. So you do feel quite confident if you were to drop that battery, it's probably gonna not break and it's gonna last. Again, another chain break assembly, same sort of screw cap as the Makita. We'll come back around, we'll just slip the battery out again and we'll just show you under the clutch cover. So this is a 36 volt system with a 7.5 amp hour battery. Twin nuts. We'll probably just have to just adjust the chain tension so it's slack. Again, side chain tensioning, you'll find with a lot more of these sort of more pro orientated or high end domestic saws. You go away from that sort of quick chain tensioning system because a lot of the guys that are using them are pro users, so we'll have the tools and spanners in trucks and what have you. There we go. So that's what you've got underneath there. Again, cleaning wise, yeah, just get in there and uh, clean all the dust out now and then. You've got more like a standard chainsaw clutch on this one. So you've got your captive sort of washer. A lot of these saws all run the uh, 3-8 chain on their guide bars and chains. So we'll just put that back on. Again, nice and simple to put back on. You just put it on like so. And underneath the clutch cover there, again, there's your adjusting pin. So you can just knock that out. And in theory, if you've got the same chain on that, it should go back on fairly simply without having to adjust it too much. So don't lose your nuts because these ones aren't captive. The other good thing with a lot of, well, when you're tensioning chains and uh, on guide bars is just, just give the um, chain a little um, spin round and then that just means it's gonna sit in the, in the clutch correctly. There you go, it sounds like someone outside's running the chainsaw up as we speak. So that's the Karcher. The other thing I have noticed down the front here, you've got like a metal bash plate. So where your bumper spikes are to, so the Makita, again, has got metal bumper spikes. Really, really nice feature. It does just mean you can just work it in the wood if you're just struggling a little bit. But this little feature here is quite nice because it does mean all that wear and tear you get on the front end. You're not gonna scratch up. But I'm just wondering, un underneath here, might be something to get into service the motor. Might be a little air filter or something like that. So that's probably a little service hatch, which is nice and easy to get to. So there we go. That is the Karcher. Now, the one you've all been waiting for, the MSA 220C. This is a brand new facelift model. There is currently an MSA 220 model in the range, but this is a brand new one. So this one is going into the range like the MSA 300, so the biggest cordless chainsaw that still do. So it's taking the same features and styling as that saw and putting it into a slightly more compact version. What do we see? So one thing already is different. You've got your quick oil cap filler, which is a flip up cap, quarter of a turn, comes out. Easy, nice and simple. You got your new styling there. And as all pro steel saws have got, they got the black felling lines. So it gives you an indication of where you're felling the, the tree or the, uh, the limb to. And we have got on this one, a quick removal clutch cover. There we go, nice and simple as that. You can get into the, uh, the chain and this is running the Light 04 bar, so it's a new generation uh, guide bar from Steel. It's a laminated guide bar, so it gives you high strength, but also decreases the weight. So it's, it gives it a more nimble sort of feel uh, when you're using the saw. So if we just flip that off. Again, you've got your quick um, adjusting dial. This is will be reversed if you flip the bar over. And underneath there, same sort of system, you've got your all gallery and what have you. Metal bumper spikes there as well, which is really nice. So we'll just whip the chain back on. So we'll just adjust that up to there. So there we are. And you can just adjust it up, like I say, finger tight with that one. Um, and you adjust your chain just on this dial. So there you go, I've just uh, released the tension on the chain. But if you move that dial up, you should push it forward to as far as you can go without going too mad. 
and that should then give you the right tension on that chain. There we go. And just, like I say, just move it around slightly. That'll just make sure you've got enough. Um, and this saw runs on the AP range of batteries. So in James's video, we had the AK range, which is what we class as domestic range of batteries. So you've got a little bit more of a limited range for that system. But the AP range will give you all the professional tools. So mowers, pole saws, strimmers, blowers, big chainsaws. This is there's also a rectangular battery. You've got your charge indicators on the front. The AP300S is the one that they recommend for this one. The MSA300, the slightly bigger saw, runs the AP500. So it's obviously got a little bit more capacity. But couple that up with that battery gives you a really nice weighted saw definitely designed for high-end domestic estate and semi-pro use so good good saw right next one we move on to the greenworks so a little bit like the makita saw you are on twin battery so a twin battery system so they're running 24 volt batteries which gives you a 48 volt system and they're four amp hour batteries so the beauty with this sort of system is they can cram a, a small amount of cells into a battery which makes the machine slightly lighter it also means that those batteries a bit like the makita range can be used in a lot of their power tools so the 24 volt or the 48 volt system so drills strimmers, mowers, and such like. So with this one here, the Makita did have a power button which tells you the battery usage. On this one here, you've actually got a button on the battery. So you can check your voltage and your charge on each battery. You've got standard sort of chain brake handle on there. And like the steel, you have got the quick flip cap. Now, the only downside I have seen with this Greenworks, and as you probably saw when I was filling it up, you have got to hold it at an angle to fill it up to the max. So if I let that down now, the only thing I would say is if it's level, it's going to just about dribble out over. But it is one of those things. It's a streamlined machine. It's a little bit more compact. It cuts very, very well, and it's got a good system to go behind it. Let's slide the batteries out so it doesn't run, and we'll get into the clutch assembly. So we'll take the chain brake off again. Again, another twin nut setup on this one, which actually I think they all have, apart from the uh, the Ego and the, the Still, obviously use those um, sort of quick chain tension systems. So there we go, take that off. Another nice captive nut system on that one with your chain adjuster in the center. But the chain adjuster on this one is actually built into the saw, so it's not on the clutch cover, which in some respects is nice because you can actually just adjust your guide bar and chain. There we go. So we can take that right off. Again, clean out in here, nice and easy to work on. When you put your chain back on, there we go, put it over the nuts, you can actually then adjust that to get it into the hole before you put the clutch cover on. So it's less fiddly on this system, I must admit. Again, we'll just screw those back onto there. This one has actually got plastic um, felling dogs. Now, I'm not a great lover of felling dogs because if you're forcing a saw through wood, it probably means it's blunt. So I haven't got anything against plastic. It does help the manufacturer keep down costs slightly, but that is, like I say, built into the, the actual casing of the saw itself. Right, let's just adjust this one up to its tension. There we go, like so. That looks pretty good. We'll just go like that. There we have it. And that is the Greenworks. Nice streamlined saw. One of the lightest ones that we are testing today. So all in all, a good machine. Next up, we've got the Steger. Now the Steger, if you're not familiar, obviously do a lot of lawn and garden products. They're very renowned for their ride on mowers and, and walk behind mowers and that sort of thing. Chain oil cap is obviously just a screw one. You've got a nice visibility on there as well. So it tells you how much oil you've got in the tank. The battery is integral. So all you do to take that battery out, you push that clip up like so. And again, power indicator on the battery. So it tells you how much runtime you got left. Another twin nut setup on the clutch cover. And one thing I would say is obviously all these saws are plastics. So there's no metal crank cases, but they all seem really, really solid. I wouldn't be um, against any sort of pro user using these saws, you know, not as a full-time saw, but you know, as a, as a backup saw or, or somewhere where you're using it in noise sensitive areas because they seem really robust. So, you know, good thumbs up there. This one just needs to come off like so. This looks a little bit more awkward. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. All right, is that gonna come off? There we go, that's come off. Again, chain tension built inside the body on this one. So you can adjust that chain like so. Easy to take on and off. There you go. Chain back on like so. You got metal felling dogs on this one. So adjust up the chain, get that sort of half tension. Right, so what you gotta do with this one is just slide the clutch cover. There's a little clip at the back end of the clutch cover there. 
Um, and then in theory, screw on. So there you go. So what you do on this one, if you just catch the back end of it and then you adjust these up, but try and do them together because the way the clutch cover goes on, you've got a little clip at the back here. So if you can work them together, the clutch cover will go on nice and smoothly. Seems like an endless threads, but how many times do you take the chain on the bar off? Check the tension. Again, just adjust it up on the side there. There we go, that's nice. Just right. Adjust that up. Right, there we go. Right, let's come down to the business end. So we'll just slide the battery in, make sure the chain breaks on. That goes in like so. So you've got your power button there, which allows you to turn the saw on. You've got a hazard warning symbol. That's telling me when my chain breaks on. So if I just take the chain brake off, the power symbol is now off. See, on and off. Um, now, if you want the chain to go forward, you press this button here, and that will allow the chain to go forward. No, I'm only joking, that's a power button. So we'll just give you an idea of what it's doing. So we'll just squeeze the trigger. There you go. You want full power? Press that button, give you full power. Pretty good saw. There we go. Right, last but not least, we'll just turn that on off. Chain brake on. One of my favorites, the Ego. You can probably see a little bit of different design to the rest of them. You've got one battery, but it's external. So what that means is that battery will fit into a lot of other tools, and Ego have a very, very comprehensive range of equipment. Even a ride on mower that will take up to six batteries. Ego, if you think of everything on here that's green, means it does something. Think green for go. So you've got your clutch cover. That is a um, quick, easy tension cover. You can adjust your chain by just altering this little wheel here, a bit like the still. Put the clutch cover back on again. Screw that up till it's sort of hand tight. There we go. And then you can adjust your chain up. If you just check the chain brake off a second, and we'll just turn that around to get the right. Turn that up like so. There we go. Easy as that. Another green thing, or another green thing, shall I say. That's your oil cap. So again, nice and easy. That's just a screw cap. It's got a little filter in this one as well. Now, it's quite good actually, because if obviously if things are dusty or you've got sawdust flying about, that will stop any blockages or any dirt building up in the tank. And that is cleanable. You can take that out, wash it out, do whatever you want with it. A little clip just here on that saw, that's your battery clip. So if we make sure the chain breaks on so it doesn't run, put the battery in, that little clip, you can just push, the battery comes out, charge indicator on the battery as well. Now this was running the 2.5 amp hour battery. They've got a big range of batteries all the way up to 12 amp hour and the backpack as well. Two green triggers there, obviously for your, you know, your go triggers as such. So there we go. That is the key features of each saw. So it's definitely safe to say those cordless chainsaws are impressive bits of kit. But really, I can't put my finger on which one is the best. And I'm not here to tell you which is the best saw. I'm here to just show you the key features and how they perform. But really, I suppose it does come down to whether or not you've already got kit, you've already got battery range. So, you know, you might have steel batteries. Well, it makes sense to go for a steel chainsaw. There's no point buying extra batteries and chargers to buy then into a Steger. But one thing I have noticed on each saw, they've all got different characteristics. They all perform differently. But but I've got one feature on each saw that I just want to point out to make your decision a bit easier. So I really like the way the MSA 220's got a variable trigger. You can go from slow all the way up to full power instantly, or you can vary it. So on the Karcher, you've got an LED battery consumption meter. After all that cutting we've done with it, it's still at 97%. That's cool. With the Ego, I found it very ergonomic. It's very easy to maintain, and all the green bits on an Ego means it does something. So it's just easy. With the Makita, it gives a really nice smooth cut. Perfect for those carpentry tasks. And on the Steger, you've got two power settings. You've got an Eco mode and full power. You might not always want full power, so go to Eco mode. And on the Greenworks, you can slide your 24 volt batteries out and you can put it into the huge range of other products they have in the range. So one big question I do want to ask you guys, have you already got any of these tools and how do you get on with them? Drop a comment below, let us know if you're in the market for a new tool and which one you might be considering. I just want to say thank you ever so much for all the manufacturers that have supplied the machine so we can test them. Remember, we're Machinery Nation, subscribe to the channel, like this video and we'll see you in the next one. Ta-da!